Greetings folks, in this video I'll be having a look at the new flight control board, it's the Speedy B F405 wing. It's an interesting new fixed wing specific flight control board. It's based on the F405 chip, but it has a few differences to all the other F405 flight control boards. Uh, it also has uh, four LED inputs or outputs or whatever. Uh, so. Speedy B have also sent me four little LED strips to have a play with. We'll go through all the specs when we have a closer look, but the big thing is that it has uh, the option of solder pads or uh, sockets to put your peripherals into. Comes very neatly packaged, much more fancy than the other flight control boards. Quick start guide which has uh, lots and lots of good information about um, where you plug things in, how you connect things up, uh, and this is also downloadable from the Speedy B website, of course. Link in the description. But here's the board itself. You can see it comes uh, separated three different boards. So this board is the PDB or Power Distribution Board. Uh, you can see spots to solder on batteries and ESCs and uh, a multi pin connector to the central board. Here's the centre board, we have a SD card slot in there and a couple of JST connectors and uh, nice spongy uh, standoffs and all the uh, UART pads that you can solder to and all the PWM output pads that uh, you can put your pins onto. And the top board with tells you everything there, this is the communication board, uh, Wi-Fi board, uh, that's one of the things with this board, you can connect uh, about three or four different ways to it, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, low energy Bluetooth and uh, USB of course. And we get lots and lots of connectors, we get a standoff USB port, USB-C, which is uh, nice. A few different options, we've got a four pin DuPont there and different uh, six pin and four pin JST connectors. Lots of choices there. There's the colour pins and there are the standoffs for putting it all together. So it's very easy to screw the standoffs and, uh, and um, uh, dampers on and nicely you get two screws and a standoff and a, um, a rubber ring spare. So we'll put them aside and the uh, USB board uh, connects using the 8 pin plug that doesn't have clamps so it's pretty easy to work out which one it is and of course you don't do it again to solder on your PWM pins and uh, battery and ESC connectors but uh, at this stage we can now plug it into the configurator just to see it wiggling around on screen alright so I've plugged it in and I will just turn on that USB port and we've got the buzzer and flashing lights. These flashing lights all mean things too. We've got a battery level indicator there. Uh, and I'll tell you more about the other LEDs in a little while. Still need some setup to do, but uh, we can see it's already set up as a, a fixed wing with a tail. Very nice indeed. Need to do our calibration. Mixer is already set up. I'm going to be putting mine on a wing, so uh, let's change that to a flying wing. There we go. Uh, it's going to be on the LTE Rambler. Can turn that buzzer off, of course. Let's uh, turn it off now, just so I don't annoy other people in the house. There we go, turned off. So there we go, motor on S1, servo 1, servo 2 on S3 and S4, and it's got the 50-50 mix there receiver connected to a UART 1, GPS is on UART 3, UART 6 is reserved for wireless connection I think so we won't use that and here's the new feature in iNav 6 this is the track back mode I might as well try that turn it on that just means when you hit return to home or you get a fail safe it will fly back along the path that it got to the point that it is uh, rather than straight back home. Looking at the manual or the quick start guide, uh, top board is the wireless board 
FC board and PDB board, uh, USB extender. FC firmware can use iNav or Arduino pilot, preloaded with iNav 6. 2 to 6S LiPos, the size there. Now the whole dimensions I've just worked out are 30 by 26, so it's a little bit different to the um, 30.5 by 30.5 of the Matec F405. So you'll, if you have a mount, you'll have to change that, which I'm doing right now, printing up a new one. Now you can see we either have pads or connectors for all the UARTs, which is very nice. I think I'll be using the connectors uh, and the PWM pins there. So we have analog camera connector here, 9 volts. Analog video transmitter connector here, 9 volts. Uh, GPS and compass here on, uh, I think it's on UART3, yes UART3. And uh, DJI or digital video transmitter connector here. Uh, we're using UART5 for that one. I2C connection over here for airspeed sensor. And it's a bit hard to see here, but we've got SBUS connection there and Express LRS or Crossfire uh, connection over here on UART1 for uh, Express LRS or uh, RX2 for SBUS. Now the BECs, there's three BECs, uh, four video transmitter, we can have 5 volts, 12 volts or 9 volts, uh, depending on how you bridge the little solder gaps there. Servos can be 5 volts by default, or 7.2 or 6 volts, depending on what you do with this little solder bridge here. And we have four LED strip connectors here as well. And this tells you wh uh, what all the LEDs mean. Uh, green means it's in Bluetooth BLE mode. White means it's in Wi-Fi mode and blue means it's in classic Bluetooth mode. And you can switch between all the different modes uh, by pushing and holding the boot button for three seconds to cycle through the four different wireless modes. And quick flashing yellow LED light indicates a successful mode switch. So the wiring diagram is very good, very neatly uh, and clearly laid out. Looking at the SpeedyB website, uh, we can see it is only $39.99 US, which is uh, very cheap for such a capable board. This is going to be a very popular board, I think, and as you can see, it's already sold out, so uh, you're going to have to only pre-order or wait for it to come back into stock. But... So let's look at the SpeedyB app now. Download that from wherever you download apps from and open it up and you'll get to choose what you're trying to configure. This is the F405 wing. Uh, you can connect via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, choosing which collect connection method you want by pushing and holding the boot button for three seconds, and you can do all your configuration, like uh, calibrating accelerometer, all the usual iNav stuff. Makes it very easy to uh, configure it out in the field. So I've soldered it all up and mounted it in the Rambler LTE. Uh, and I'll just show you the LEDs. I have all the LED strips in there. By pushing the button, the boot button, you can change, you can cycle through all the different color schemes: green, orange, yellow, pink, red, white. And this is the one I like. We've got sort of navigation: uh, red and green, and a couple of white ones pointing down. So that'll show through the bottom of the the fuselage when we're flying. So I might leave it on that one. I think. We can also have a flashing one as well, but uh, I think we'll just leave it as the normal navigation. But that is now ready to go. Analog FPV, so we'll record some onboard stuff as well. Uh, I'll do a little bit of HD as well. Uh, but anyway, it's time to go out for a fly. Beautiful day to try it out on the Rambler wing. Um, so, yep, Speedy B F405 wing mounted in there. Uh, I do have the LEDs on, but uh, they're really a nighttime thing rather than day. A uh, nice sunny day like today, we won't be able to see them, but they are working. Analog FPV on the front, Express LRS receiver. Uh, okay, let's just go for a bit of a fly now. All we're really doing is making sure that the board actually works, and we'll check out the um, video um, filtering power filtering a little bit later on once we get a bit of a flight in so here we go here we go up into the air she goes just 
just in acro at the moment, but that all seems to be working very nicely. Preloaded with uh, INAV6, which is very nice. Um, so there shouldn't be any problems with horizon drift or anything like that. Flying nice and stable. Cruise mode, that's just going to take off, maintain that direction. Return to launch, that all seems to be working nicely. I'd say we're ready for a, a nice little flight now. Only thing I haven't done is put my uh, safe home coordinates in there, but uh, that is cool. All right, let's get it into loiter mode and have a look in the goggles. Yes, yeah, so a nice view through the goggles, so the video filtering is beautiful. Cruise mode. Cruise mode. It's our altitude 36, 35, 35, that's pretty good. And we can go for a cruise. Switch to the other antenna there, so that's looking good now. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, basically hands off. Position hold. Back to acro, so we can fly it myself. I spend most of my time flying in acro or manual with flight control boards, so um, for me it's just a, a sort of a, a gentle hand over the top of the uh, manual or acro flying. Gosh, this is beautiful. Look at that lovely water. Starting to get some greenery growing after after summer. Blue skies. Whales will be arriving soon, which is always fun to look forward to. Great stuff. Yeah, so the Speedy B F405 wing board works as it should. Has the extra added features of four LED outputs and uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built-in for configuration out in the field and connectors instead of pins you know that's uh, well I'm used to having pins so it was a bit of an adjustment for me to come up with cables that would fit in but uh, no drama really it means that they're easily swappable uh, and you're not going to get them plugged into the wrong spot so, very nice indeed, and a really good price too. So this board is going to be very popular, I think. Hopefully it will um, encourage others to uh, add features and drop their prices. All right, bring it back home now. It's a nice combination with the Rambler and the Speedy B F405 wing board. Coming in for a nice gentle landing. Here we go. Great stuff. Great job, Speedy B. Uh, this is a really nice board. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.